Well, um, <laughs> I wasn't really sure how I was going to do this video, um, but as the date draws near, I figured, man, I might as well just go ahead and record it. Um, in case you couldn't tell by the title, I am going to be having open heart surgery. And I figured I would just make this video, kind of tell them what's going on, um, channel plans, I guess just where I am mentally. And I, you know, I'm pretty sure this is some of the only ways people are going to really know what's, what's kind of going on with me, if you care. Um, so I'm going to kind of briefly go over uh, kind of what's going on uh, to now. Um, I know I've gone over it uh, in another video, but I'm going to like kind of speed run it here. Uh, so March 14th, I collapsed. I um, was in the hospital for a day for observation. Next day, I was released and paired up with a cardiologist um, who was absolutely terrible. Uh, promised me a bunch of stuff that was going to happen uh, the day that I got out. Went up there and they're like, no, that's not how this is going to work. Um, so that turned into the theme of waiting. So I had to wait for this guy to schedule me an appointment. And then once I kind of got in with him, um, he pretty much told me that he wasn't going to treat me anymore and that he wanted to put me off on somebody else because he didn't want to operate on me. Um, but he was, he ran like two tests or something like that and was already screaming surgery. Um, so I was supposed to get referred to this new cardiologist. However, he wanted me to complete all these tests for his facility only. Um, before I get referred, I tried to take the initiative to have myself referred out. Um, when I called, the lady was out or they would give me the runaround. So I went to my primary doctor and they got me referred and I saw the guy the next day. And then this dude was still wanting me to come do tests and I was just like, no. <laughs> so that guy's out of the picture, thank God. Um, so I meet up with this new cardiologist and uh, he wants to set up like a, just a plethora of tests uh, just because of what was going on with me. Uh, the fact that I was at the time active, I was doing CrossFit five times a week. Um, I had been doing CrossFit for a long time. Um, you know, I had gone through this rapid weight loss and all this stuff. And so um, that turned into more waiting because of the fact that I had to basically wait for this new hospital to kind of get my stuff all set up. Um, and by that point, I had already been out of work for a while. And I was out of work for about two months. And I kind of went back because I was like, if I need surgery, I'm going to lose my job because I'm going to run out of my like job security leave that they provide me. And then I'm going to be out way over that. And then it's just going to kind of turn into me losing my job while I'm out trying to recover. Thank goodness I did that. So I, I had to twist the arm of my cardiologist just to let me go back. And uh, after I went back, it was still a lot of waiting. Um, and then finally, I got a couple tests scheduled um, when they found or when he got the results, excuse me, for the test, my cardiologist noticed some stuff was off. Um, and so he wanted me to go see a cardiovascular surgeon. Um, that turned into a headache in its own self because uh, at first the lady flat out refused to let me see the, uh, the, yeah, the cardiovascular surgeon. Um, she told me that I didn't need to see her. She didn't think I needed to see her when the lady just pushes pencils and types on a computer all day because, you know, she's totally a uh, certified medical person. And so I finally, through the efforts of multiple sources, finally got this lady to schedule me an MRI. Uh, and then through the MRI, they found immediately that I will need open heart surgery. So uh, basically 2023 kind of <laughs> boiled down to me doing a whole lot of waiting. I got a, maybe like two, two and a half months tops of kind of time to myself and then the rest of it has just been spent kind of dealing with this um so upon the mri results uh she found out that the valve that i had operated on when i was two months old does need to be replaced um there's also some heart growth or some heart muscle growth excuse me on the side of my heart uh that is causing me some issues and so that will need to be taken off and also i have a heart aneurysm that can either be fixed now or will have to be fixed later before it comes fatal. Um, so yeah, that's great, right? Um, so what I wanted to do today in this video is kind of just tell you guys what's going on with me um, and kind of where my channel is right now. Uh, I, I honestly, I don't plan my videos. I don't really like 
write out stuff for them. I just kind of sit down and talk. That's more of the uh, style that I'm, you know, used to trying to follow some script or something kind of just, it irks me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will be having my surgery on Halloween. Uh, that is by choice. <laughs> I thought it was really funny, so I decided to pick Halloween. Um, initially, I was hoping that if I needed to have surgery done, if it was just the valve itself that could go through kind of around my groin with like a small incision, they just put a little tube up there, fix my valve, I'm good to go. However, with all the extra stuff that they found, they're unfortunately going to have to go through my chest again like they did when I was two months old. And so that will put me out of commission for a good while. Um, I'm basically going into this with the worst case scenario being my plan of action, which is like my recovery not going according to plan necessarily because I don't expect to be like Goku and I just bounce back from my heart condition or have some swordsman from the future come help me out and get me out of this. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a long, grueling, difficult thing um, that I need to plan accordingly for. Um, so after Halloween, I should be in the hospital for about a month, or not a month, well, excuse me, a week. I'll be in the hospital for a week. Um, and then from there, um, I will be released and going back to my parents for a while. So I won't be here. Uh, I won't be here for a while. Um, I probably won't be here until sometime next year unless some crazy stuff happens and I recover faster than sooner than I thought. <laughs> Talking has never been my strong point. Y'all know that. Um, so I will be spending pretty much the entire holidays with my parents, um, just kind of recovering over there, uh, because pretty much they will be home all day with me. Uh, whereas here, unfortunately, I would be completely by myself. And, uh, just after talking with my roommate, talking with my parents, talking to some other people, they thought that was the best course of action. Uh, my roommate thought that that was the best idea for me, just in my health and my safety, uh, because he said, you know, I would be there for you if I was here, but I'm not. And so... That was kind of the decision making there, so I will be going back to my parents um, to just kind of get everything kind of set there. Um, I am in the process. I've already got them all kind of written out. Uh, I think I have about four or five maybe uh, video ideas that I'm going to be hopefully recording before my surgery, and then I might just try to do like a spam upload and schedule some out. Um, but that is another reason why the videos have been so sporadic. Um, with the amount of time I've been out and the amount of time I've been waiting, um, I have gotten worse as time has gone on. Uh, my conditions that I was dealing with and just the side effects that I was having, um, the lightheadedness, the chest pain, and then the difficulty breathing have been like the three major ones that I've been dealing with. Um, those have been becoming more frequent and more easy for me to kind of succumb to. Um, so with that being said, uh, you know, I, I've just been kind of tired. I've been really tired a lot and not really wanting to do too much. And so videos have been very sporadic. They've been things that I can do easily. They've been things that I can kind of just quickly knock out, drag a couple things over. I don't really have to edit for too long and then I can go rest again. Um, I have been trying to do stuff because I do want to have some type of life while I'm waiting. Um, but you know, it's been very difficult for me. So, yeah, uh, I kind of talked about this briefly in another video, uh, just kind of my status on Pokemon right now. Uh, the issue that I'm have kind of coming back is I go into surgery kind of right after pre-releases for Paradox Rift. So for a good chunk, I'm going to be recovering while everybody's figuring out Paradox Rift. So that leaves my channel kind of in this weird spot. I have not really been a competitive YouTube channel. I don't have any plans to be competitive. I don't think I'm ever going to be a top player. Um, I'm just somebody who's been playing for a long time, and uh, I just did videos with my friends and just kind of made some memories, and it was just something I kind of always wanted to do. Um, and I just kind of, you know, got a camera one day and just started uploading, and here I am. <laughs> um, I, do, I do enjoy making videos. It's just... Right now, it's very hard for me uh, just because of how I feel. Um, and a lot of times, I just want to lay down and rest. That's that's kind of all I want to do. I just want to lay down, watch something, chill, get me something to drink, and just kind of recover from the day. Um, I come home from work pretty much like just completely destroyed. <laughs> um, and so that's, that's kind of where I'm 
add on that. So while I'm out, I don't know how many videos I'll be able to crank out. A lot of them are going to be just easy ones I can kind of film and just kind of sit down and, you know, just kind of talk like I'm doing now, uh, except this one, I actually have gameplay going. <laughs> um, so that way you guys aren't just like, okay, God, this is boring. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. And, you know, I, I also kind of talked a little bit about just kind of like playing around here and how it just kind of like is eh to me. Um, one of the shops that I, you know, one of the shops around me, they kind of been going bonkers and opening up this big giant play area. Um, and they do their stuff on Friday nights, which is cool. However, I go to work at 530 in the morning and their thing isn't like until 12 hours later. So by the time I get out of that, I am absolutely just exhausted <laughs> um, because I've been up all day long. And so that's that's the only issue that kind of lies there. The one that I was going to pretty much that I record all my vlogs at um, after I made a video talking about my frustrations, um, talking about there's a new content creator there. Um, and so I kind of feel like, you know, like I can't really do my videos there anymore because it's just it'll be kind of awkward. Um, I, I pretty much lost contact with a lot of those people. Um, they just kind of stopped reaching out. Um, so that, you know, I, I don't. I don't know if I'm necessarily welcome there, so I'm not gonna go above and beyond to kind of go reach out and just go back um, and just try to continue my own thing there. Um, so that's that's where that's been kind of awkward. Um, and, and then the other one, they're like so sporadic with events and stuff that they do. And I, man, I just want to kick it with my buddies. And that, that, at the end of the day, that's just what I want to do. And we all like Pokemon and that was just a way for me to kind of build some memories with my friends. You know, we're all 30 now. Uh, we're getting older <laughs> and life is taking over. Um, so, that, you know, that's just, you know, it, it's life. You know, I don't, I don't have a big giant testing group that I can talk with. I don't have a bunch of friends that I can just kind of sit down and play cards with. It's, it's just more or less meeting up with the boys on a occasional weekend. And, um, it, it, I, I just don't know kind of the future of this channel, um, moving forward. Um, just because I'm never going to be a competitive channel. I'm going to be more or less a for fun channel. I don't want to strictly be a opening only channel. I don't want to be one of those people telling you whether or not you should let some sealed product sit in your closet for six months because you might make money off of it. I don't want to be one of those dorks. I, I just, I don't care about re, like, like sealed products and their longevity and price range. And all. I just, I don't care about that. That's just, you know version stuff anyway <laughs> um so that's that's just kind of where i'm at um I, I and i'm hopefully gonna get a grasp on a couple other things while i'm out uh, i feel like my entire 2023 uh just didn't happen i feel like i kind of lost a year of my life and i'm already looking like i might be losing potentially a good chunk of next year as well just depending on how long my you know my recovery is and how long it takes me to kind of bounce back um, so that's been eating away at me and moving forward, man, I, I just, I just got to prepare for this. Um, once Halloween kind of rolls around, uh, I'm going to be in one of the toughest situations that I've ever had in my life. Um, I still think burying my grandparents, uh, was the hardest thing in my life. Uh, and I, you know, I'd, I'd much rather do this a thousand times over than do that again. So, uh, I'm just kind of mentally preparing as the date kind of gets near, I notice my nerves have shot up exponentially. I'm constantly on edge. I'm constantly very emotional. I'm constantly very just afraid. Um, there are times I walk around very frightened and I don't know why until I'm like, it's my surgery. Um, but yeah, kind of getting back to feeling worse. I, I try my best to hide it. I just don't want people to feel sorry for me. That, you know, it's something that I was born with. It's not anything I can help. Uh, so I try my best to hide it. Uh, some days I can, some days I can't, but you know, if I can just sneak away and just kind of compose myself, you know, that's usually what I do. But I wanted to make this video, uh, just kind of talking to you guys, telling you kind of what's going on. Um, and that don't worry. Um, thankfully everything surgically is straightforward. They see everything going on in there. Um, they went all the way around my heart. Um, all my valves look good, except that one that was messed up when I was a baby. Um, everything else is working fine. Um, they're going to monitor me after my surgery. I'm going to have constant MRIs, constant uh, CT, or CT echocardiograms done. 
um, just to make sure nothing kind of springs up. If this heart aneurysm can get fixed, that's something they're going to monitor too. So, you know, there is a plan in place. Um, I am kind of prepping for my surgery uh, the best that I can. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it's, it's very, very frightening to talk about, uh, especially since the day is getting closer and closer. Um, I'm going to be spending maybe probably about five weeks out of work attempting to go back um, probably after that five week period um, hopefully anyway I don't know I'm not sure yet but we'll just kind of see when we get there but that's kind of it from me uh, hope you all uh, take care um, I know this was a very crappy video uh, especially especially if you sat through the end of it um, yeah that that is it for me man I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. And um, you guys take care. Have a good one. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.